Hi there. Now today I want to talk to you about 404 pages in WordPress. Now the 404 error page is the page that a user is displayed with when they visit a page on your WordPress site that does not exist. Maybe it's been deleted or maybe they've spelt the URL wrong and therefore WordPress can't find the correct page. Now traditionally this page is delivered through a page template provided by your theme and that means that only a developer can really change the content of that page. It's not like a normal page in WordPress where you can edit the content, add content and change things. So today I want to show you a plugin that we've built called Fantastically Flexible 404s, which allows you to build your own 404 pages without relying on the one in the plugin for the template. And it means you can do it without writing a single line of code. So let's take a look about how it works. So here is a default install of WordPress, and I've got my plugin here installed, uh, sorry, added, I haven't activated it yet, called Fantastically Flexible 404s. Now before I do that, I'm just going to go and show you what the 404 page looks like on the front end of this site by hitting a, a non-existent URL. So this page here we can see is being delivered from the theme in WordPress. In fact, if I go into the appearance sector here in the editor and we can edit the theme itself, this is just the 2020 theme in WordPress, the sort of the default one that's currently being shipped. And in here, we've got a template called 404 and this is the template that's being used. So we can see here's the title, page not found, and we get the search form uh, displayed to the user, which is exactly what we're seeing here. But I can't edit that in pages. There is no page in WordPress for me to actually edit that into, so therefore it makes it a little bit more difficult. So let's add or activate our fantastically flexible 404s plugin and see how it works. So once you've activated it, you get a settings option, which we're going to click on, and that allows you to choose any WordPress page from the pages section here to use as the 404 page. Now I've created two pages, I've created one using the Elementor page builder and I've also created one using the Gutenberg standard block editor in WordPress. This will also work with whichever editor you're using, if you're using Divi or Beaver builder, they'll all work in the same way. So let's select the Gutenberg 404 page and press the save changes and then we can go and visit our 404 page again and refresh. And you can see now I'm delivered this beautiful 404 that I've designed in Gutenberg um, with some different blocks in there and different content that the user might find interesting. Let's have another look at the Elementor version so I can change the 404 and update. And then refresh the page and then you'll see that the Elementor version of that page is used. Again, it's still using the theme, but I can change the content using whichever page builder I need. And that's fantastically flexible 404s. It's really as easy as that. It allows you to build a nice, flexible, beautiful looking page layout for your 404 page so that provide users with a little bit more information.